Hello everyone, it's Mark. I am doing a video because I haven't done a video in like, I think it's three weeks. Like most of January I have not done videos. And there's actually a good excuse for that. Uh, I've been very stressed out lately. I've not been in any condition to want to do videos because I've been very sad and um, upset. And, well, yeah, sad and upset pretty well counts it. But uh, my friend Brandy, who you know, I'm, I'm very close to, moved two hours away. So I have been trying to, you know, get myself together. And I think I've gotten to myself to a point where I can do videos again. So I'm doing fine. And I um, just wanted to also say that I'm no longer going to do vlogs on this YouTube because... I have decided to leave this all completely makeup from now on and then move all of my vlogs and all of my other kind of silly random stuff that I do on here will go to my other account which is youtube.com slash Mark Bratton 2006 and that will be left in the sidebar for you to go ahead and click and see. Do subscribe if you like my vloggy type stuff. Uh, very much so I want you to and then if you like my drag music videos and all that kind of stuff go to youtube.com slash chastity forever and also once again that will be in the sidebar along with the, all the stuff for this look tonight which is going to be an 80s inspired look this was in um, request from my other friend Brandy uh, the Phantom Angel so I hope you enjoy I have people talking to me online right now, even though I need to be working on this. So, stay focused. <laughs> so, tonight, the first, the, I went ahead and put on my moisturizer. I went ahead and did a face primer tonight. I um, put my liquid foundation on, which is Jane, and then my powder and my blush. Now, what I did differently with my blush tonight was instead of just letting it go as a contour, I brought it up to my temples a little bit because that's very 80s. So I took my Coral Blush Plumberry Glow from CoverGirl and I brought up the temples and out over the cheeks, like so. And that's my blush. Looks real fun. Looks real fun like that. And of course you won't see my blush because all my videos have decided um, you pretty much can't see it. I mean you can see me somewhat doing my my eye makeup but I don't even think you can see my eye makeup that well with this camera. I really want a different camera. Or it's my lighting. I really don't know what's going on. That's why I'm really happy about the pictures on the sidebar too. Definitely check out my pictures on the sidebar because that always helps with um, trying to make sure that you know you, you got the colors right. Okay. Got my um, brush, my regular brush, and I'm going to put right here on the eyelid, bright hot pink. Of course I used Clown White Makeup as a base because this is a very bright look and I want it to, you know, I want it to pop. So I used Clown White as a base. Now I'm going to take purple from my Lasting Lilac from Maybelline and I'm going to put it in the crease like so. I'm doing this look for Brandy's birthday, the Phantom Angel. So I hope she likes it. Whoa, went a little too far up there. Well, Mom's like blaring the television in there. Purposely bring a little bit of that up because I did a little too much. Okay. Now I am going to take the blue from the palette that this is inspired from, Miss Makeup, which you can also see in the sidebar. 
and my liner brush. Yeah, my liner's not one to stay on tonight for nothing. It's annoying me. Okay, I'm gonna line like so with blue. Watching my time. I thought this was a really cute idea when she told me so. I hope everyone enjoys this. Kind of burned up in this wig. Okay, now I'm going to take Rimmel Coal White on the inside of my eye eyeliner. Then we'll take Colossal and Glam Black. Like so. And then I forgot highlight. I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk blending brush and I'm going to take the yellow from this palette. Get it good on there. That gives it that finishing touch. And I am putting it on the inside of the eye too. I know a lot of people don't like to put shadow there, but I sure do. Um, let's see. Then on the lips, I used Wet Slicks, Fruit Spritzers, and Raspberry. Splash. It's the one that Rihanna uses in the ad. And then I used my Wet n Wild Gloss in 578, which is super frosty. And this kind of makes it a little bit more wearable. And also it changes the formula a little bit so it's easier to put on the lips because I didn't like the formula of the Wet n Wild uh, lip gloss. But this is the final look very 80s with my hair you know on the off the, to the side I'd be playing like Pat Benatar right now or Cindy Lauper so well I hope everyone enjoyed the look I know I sure do I love this look I think it's so much fun I don't think I got enough purple on the side but anyway I hope you enjoy look at the pictures in the sidebar I hope I didn't do too much in short little time but uh yeah I hope everyone's doing well, and I feel like I was ADD in this video, and I apologize if anyone is, and I just insulted you, but I, I felt really, like, off tonight, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye! I said I, like, I hope you enjoyed this video, like, seven times. Sorry. Bye!